What's up, everyone? Aaron Nagler here for PackersNews.com, live on Facebook at the end of the day, Wednesday. Uh, no Packers availability, but Packers news being made this afternoon uh, are Ryan Wood confirming an NFL Network report that the Packers are signing Ahmad Brooks, formerly of the San Francisco 49ers, an outside linebacker who will immediately become number three on their depth chart, uh, bolstering a position that was ineffective and injured. So, uh, yeah. A bit of news, and of course, the one day that news breaks in the afternoon, I'm in the city attending to a family affair. So, I'm sorry I wasn't there when the news broke, but I'm here now. Just a quick chat. Um, wanted to jump on, see what you guys are thinking, see how you guys feel about it, and uh, knock my camera all over the place, and uh, just take some questions and see how you guys are feeling. A lot of woohoos there in the comments. I like it. Sup, Kyle? How you doing? Just wanted to, like I said, just wanted to, Ronnie loves it. He loves it. Uh, Pope says, Brooks, hello from Ohio, so ready for the season, Matthew, I think most people are. I mean, tomorrow night's a big night, obviously that last preseason game, lots of young guys vying for roster spots. Make sure you check out, we've got 10 guys who'll be feeling the pressure tomorrow night from Michael, uh, Tom, and Ryan. Just put that up at PackersNews.com, make sure you check that out. Why did we go for him, not complaining? Joshua, mostly because their outside linebacking depth chart was a disaster zone. Um... With Clay dealing with an injury, although Mike McCarthy did say it's not long-term, uh, he is dealing with a groin injury. Uh, Nick Perry is dealing with an ankle injury. J. Ron Elliott can't stay on the field with back spasms. And Kyler Fackrell has been downright ineffective. Uh, you put all that together, I think Ted Thompson looked and saw a position that needed bolstering. Uh, it was good timing for them, fortuitous timing, that the 49ers decided to let him go when they did. Um, and that's the kind of move that the personnel group would probably have their eye on, knowing uh, that the 49ers had drafted there. Uh, Brooks is at the tail end of his career, uh, earning a decent amount of coin in San Francisco. That's the kind of thing that a personnel group would say, look, there's a possibility that he may come free. Those are the kind of things that the Packers and every personnel group in the NFL, they plan for months in advance. While it becomes news to us, those are the things that they're sifting through and looking forward to way back in the spring. Play in the middle with Brooks and Perry outside at all this year, I think you'll see some of that. I don't doubt it. I, this definitely helps free up Clay Matthews to move back inside in some situations. I don't think that'll be their base personnel, but it's absolutely a possibility. Hayden would have helped a lot more. I hate to disagree with your police work there, but uh, Hayden's not very good anymore. Um, I understand that people are down on Randall and Rollins, but if... You know, people look at Hayden and say, well, he was injured these last two years. Well, Randall and Rollins were injured last year, and they're, uh, you know, two, three years into the scheme, and they've shown real promise this preseason. Uh, Hayden just signed for three years and a good chunk of choin, coin in uh, Pittsburgh. You know, let's see where the chips fall. I, I do like the fact that Hayden did sign with the Steelers. That makes it really easy for the I told you so, Teddy, Brigade to uh, look at Steelers games to watch T.J. Watt and uh, Hayden together. They don't have to flip channels while they're doing that. Brooks hasn't shown any statistical decline. I agree. I just put up a video. You should check it out. Uh, the, our Buzz of the Day video at PackersNews.com. I referenced that exact thing. Um, you know, he brings a veteran presence and production, steady production, something that this outside linebacking group is sorely lacking uh, as it was constituted before this signing. Can he help with so little time to learn the defense? Christopher, that's a legit question. Um, you have to think, at least early on, his his usage will be limited. Uh, I have little doubt they will come up with a, a package or two for him to uh, kind of contribute in. But initially, I don't think you're going to see a lot of him on the field. Maybe on obvious passing downs when he's told, just go get the quarterback. But for the most part, yes, it's going to take a little time. I think you'll see him his role grow more as the year goes on. But initially, yeah, it, it'll be a little limited. Knox on Brooks. Uh, Matt, he, he's older. He's stiff in the hips. Uh, he doesn't have great bend around the corner. What he does have is incredible strength uh, and uh, incredible drive. Um, but you've seen teams, especially last year, took advantage of him in coverage, which is something he's going to have to do out there. And, you know, the Packers are no different. That 3-4 scheme, those outside backers, they're called to flip their hips and get upfield with either wide receivers or tight ends. Um, you know, go back and watch the Panthers game from last year, and you'll see uh, Brooks being taken advantage of badly in that regard. However, you'll also see him uh, absolutely decimate Greg Olson for a sack of Cam Newton. So you're getting the good with the bad. 
Biggest free agent year for Ted. Samuel has been a long time, right? I mean, the list is pretty extensive between Martellus Bennett, Lance Kendricks, Ricky Jean Francois, uh, Brooks now, and there's one other that I'm forgetting off the top of my head. But yeah, that's a lot. Remember the cycle package? What's the difference between with Nitro? Well, cycle only had one down lineman. Traditionally, it was Cullen Jenkins back in the day, whereas Nitro has two. Uh, it runs much more like their regular 2-4 nickel. Instead of a linebacker in the middle, you've got Morgan Burnett and an extra safety on the field up top. That's the main difference. What's your expectations for King this season? Nick, I think you'll see him eased into action. I don't think he starts week one, but I think you'll see more of him as the year goes on. Let's see. Rogers is right about Kaepernick. Everyone's going to have an opinion. I, I hope you guys did check out the profile by my friend Mina at ESPN, the magazine. Um, I thought it was excellent. Mina's one of the best writers working. And Rogers had teased this before when he was on ESPN radio, radio last month. Uh, so we knew it was coming. Uh, it dropped this morning. It's in on newsstands this, this weekend, and it's online right now. I highly recommend going to read it because it's quite good. Sorry, guys. My phone is blowing up. Uh, Ted's getting the credit, but this feels more like Elliot starting to flex his influence. Uh, I can say with certainty that that is not the case. That's all I can say about that. Does this mean less Nitro? No, I don't think so. You still need two backers to run it, uh, outside backers, that is. And uh, more than anything, he'll be, Brooks being uh, the guy I'm talking about, will be there to spell Perry and Matthews when they need a breather or and or when they're injured. But that doesn't change much as far as Nitro goes. It will, you know, take some time, again, as we were just saying, for Brooks to get up to speed on his assignments in that package. But uh, no, it, the Nitro will still be used extensively this year. <laughs> uh, what was the tweet about another free agent pickup? Uh, I know uh, Rappaport dropped that this morning. We are hearing the same thing. I was just uh, talking to Tom Silverstein. We heard uh, similar rumblings, so stay tuned. No idea. No idea what it is or what they're targeting. Feel confident about the team going into the season? Are there any concerns to you? I think the biggest concern has got to be the you know the depth that off on the offensive line. I think there's no question that if there's an injury up front, they're they're going to have to juggle, they're going to have to adjust, um, and it's really going to cause some headaches. But if they stay healthy up front, they should be fine. Evans, that was it. Oh, and I didn't say House either. Gosh, exactly. There's so many of them, I can't even remember them all. Yeah, uh, Jahari Evans the day before the draft, and obviously Devon House, they're the onset of free agency. Adams starting nose tackle? No, Levi Adams is still injured. Um, he hasn't seen the field since the second practice of training camp. Um, your starting nose tackle is Kenny Clark. When they're in when they're in three four base, it'll be Clark. Is he a durable guy? If you're talking about Brooks, yes, he is. Brooks won't play tomorrow. Yeah, Flack, no, no chance. Lowry more at elephant, or has he done some? You know, Matt, that's an interesting question because we did ask uh, Turkovac about that, uh, and he made fun of me for asking about a scheme question. But um, he could in a pinch, but I don't think that's where they like him. Uh, Winston Moss did say that Brooks could play elephant if they asked him to. Sign Nick Mangold. Uh, Alan, that would be worse than the Jeff Saturday signing. Uh, maybe trading with Bills or Jets could use more O-line. It's possible, but I don't think a trade is the route they're going to go. They'll wait until Saturday when they have that. The NFL will have a massive cut down, every team going from 90 to 53. Um, there'll be more than 1,000 guys on the street. Uh, they'll look at their possibilities there. Should have gone after Hayden. He could be a number one corner. Kenny, you haven't watched Hayden recently. That's pretty clear. Holy cow. Uh, Kenny Clark, future Pro Bowler. Tyrone, there's a very good possibility. Uh, he's definitely looked apart this preseason. Three middle linebackers. Uh, Raymond, if you're talking about the three inside linebackers, as in Martinez, Ryan, and Thomas, yeah, I think that's the plan with the idea they can also switch Matthews inside if they need to. Time to trade Matthews. Larry, no one's going to trade for his contract. Not going to happen. Who's your favorite assistant coach to interview? Oh, it's... Um, Joe Witt Jr., no no question. Love hearing him talk. Love hearing him talk football. I think he's a uh, head coach in waiting. Is Brooks a good choice for you? Yeah, I, th I think it makes a lot of sense, given the state of their outside linebacking core, uh, how ineffective it had been all summer, and how, at the moment, how injured it is. Uh, the signing makes a lot of sense. I think we'll get good quality snaps from him in a Julius Peppers kind of way. Yeah, I think, you know, he's. I don't think he's quite as... 
maybe as dynamic as Julius Peppers could be on occasion, but I think he'll be he'll give you probably more steady snaps than Peppers did because Peppers, don't forget, last year especially as the year wore on, he disappeared for long stretches, and I think that won't so much be the case with Brooks. Is Brooks official? Josh, the team has not announced it. It is not on the wire, uh, the transaction wire today, uh, but it is happening. Why so many inside linebackers, if we're going to use hybrid safeties, so many? They have three. That's a, a distinct lack of inside linebackers. Hill ahead of Callahan on the death chart. Matthew, I don't know, but I, I do know that Hill got the, uh, the first snaps uh, with the, uh, the frontline guys uh, the other day of practice. So you got to think we'll probably see him first tomorrow night. You know, Callahan's in for a fight. Uh, still give Daytona a look if released or not. Nah. Yeah, good question. Probably not at this point, but you never know. Is Hunley better than Hill? Yes. Capers on the hot seat? No. Does this mean Beagle stays on PUP? Yeah, Lee, I don't think that was ever in question. I think as soon as you saw that he didn't practice this week, that was kind of a done deal. There'd be zero reason to take him off the preseason PUP to put him on the 53, um, just to have, which pretty much would mean that he would have to sit there in street clothes. Uh, week to week because you couldn't activate the guy after a month of not practicing and not doing anything. Um, yeah, he'll be on the regular season PUP. All right, guys, going to have to jump here in a second, but I'll take one or two more. How many weeks until we get Fire Capers comments? Uh, about three weeks ago. Uh, big night tomorrow for question mark. Uh, let's say Devonte Mays. Any starters or immediate backups playing tomorrow? Uh, we don't won't know. You know, McCarthy always gives us a song and dance about playtime meetings, which typically would happen this morning, uh, you know, shockingly on a day when they don't have media availability. So we'll find out. Will Joe Thomas end up being the starter at inside linebacker? It really just depends on which team they're facing and what kind of personnel they have and what kind of game plan Dom Capers draws up. I think it'll change week to week. Gunter staying or leaving? I think a lot depends on tomorrow night. That guy's, he's, in a, he's in for a fight, no doubt about it. Richard Rodgers on the bubble? Phil, I don't think so. Uh, with our luck, Steelers will win Super Bowl and Hayden gets MVP. <laughs> That's a perfect spot to leave it. All right, guys, I'm going to have to jump. Uh, sorry if I didn't get to your question. I'll be back tomorrow for the game. Obviously, keep it at PackersNews.com for all the latest. Uh, we've got you covered. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you soon.